Hi there, and thanks for joining Eric's Correspondence Corner. Just want to start off by sending my thoughts and prayers to all of the families and victims that were part of the horrific bombing that took place at the Boston Marathon recently. I do know that local, state, and federal law enforcement will catch the individuals responsible for this act and bring those individuals to justice. It's also important that as Americans, we show our resolve and come together in the aftermath of such a terrible, terrible tragedy. It's been a pretty busy week in Washington. A lot of visitors came from Minnesota this week. The weather was nice. We also had a really good hearing in the Joint Economic Committee about monetary policy, the Federal Reserve, and making sure the value of the dollar remains strong. Also heard a lot of folks that expressed concern, both pro and con, on legislation taking up this week in the House regarding cyber attacks and the threat of cyber attacks emanating from other countries on Americans, uh, against American companies. Ken and Donna from Coon Rapids wrote in with their thoughts on the legislation that Congress took up this week. It's called CISPA. They wrote in, Eric, please vote against CISPA, the Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act. We certainly do not need another government program to illegally spy on United States citizens and invade our privacy. There would be no control how they would use the information they collect. Thank you, Ken and Donna. Well, what Ken and Donna are talking about is a bill that was debated in the House this week that would protect our country from cyber attacks that come from abroad, primarily from countries like China and North Korea and Iran. Now, we do know the threat is real. Upwards of about $300 billion every single year is stolen in intellectual property from our American companies here at home, and it's stolen and brought over abroad. It's putting a lot of jobs at risk. It's hurt a lot of manufacturing jobs in the United States. The legislation that we debated will actually only allow voluntarily industry to share information between each other, different companies to share information between each other, as well as with the government on a voluntary basis if those companies ask for and ask and need assistance. It's also important to remember that this bill has nothing to do with surveillance in any way. There is no sharing of personal emails, no sharing of private information, but it is an opportunity to make sure that we are prepared against cyber threats and cyber crime in the future. I want to thank everyone for taking the time to join this week. Send your thoughts, your ideas, and your questions, if you'd like to have your question asked as a part of the Correspondence Corner, to paulson.house.gov on the website. Of course, you can find me as well on Twitter or Facebook. Have a great weekend.